Hi everyone, a uh, simple tutorial today, uh, not very advanced, showing how you can get uh, the IP addresses within uh, Matomo Analytics and uh, this for free. So for this you will need to install a plugin named uh, IP addresses, which is uh, IP reports uh, over here. And uh, what does this report do is that it's going to add uh, the IP reports address to your report so technically this is what's going to happen if you click over here on visitors you're going to get it on uh, on uh, locations and uh, here it is okay you see the top ip addresses and those are the top ip addresses having a look at your website okay as you can see it's keeping them anonymized if you choose uh, to let them uh, <coughs> anonymized uh, I think that this one is linked to it, uh, giving you the differences between uh, IPv6 and IPv4. Um, of course, if you have the custom report premium feature, you can uh, design this uh, custom report without, uh, I mean, this report without any issues. All you need to do is that you just need to pick up uh, the IP address uh, dimension, okay, visitor IP. <coughs> um, Dealing with the rest, um, what can you do with uh, an IP address? I think that uh, one interesting thing that we could think of is about uh, using those IP addresses as user IDs. In order to do so, uh, you will need to play a little bit more with the tag manager in order to fire um, any given uh, <coughs> let's say any given tag for which as a user ID uh, you want to send the IP address. I'm not going to show it in the tutorial of today, but definitely you have uh, places <coughs> that you can have a look at uh, over here in, um, for example, in, uh, in, in Google Tag Manager tutorials, in some Google Tag Manager tutorials, in which uh, you can fire a script such as this one, and then once it's fired, then it's going to populate uh, a data layer. And then uh, you can use, of course, uh, the variable that you created in order to add it as a user ID. So technically, you just need to go over here in the tag manager and then just change the variable over here and then just use for the user ID, in fact, the value extracted from the IP address. And um, if you are working in an environment in which your audience is mostly composed of people using the same IP address, which can happen, uh, you'll get a close ID to how many visitors or at least how many users, individuals you are getting on, on your website. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.